guys so hey today we're going to be reacting to absolutely as outrageous all male netball team beat girls in a state of uh, tournament um interesting this is one of those modern women stuff uh i'm very curious to see what is going on here by the way we almost very close to the thousand subscribers make sure that you like and subscribe and ring the bell that way you can just help me out to get to the thousand subscriber um let's see let's see what's going on here an all boys netball team is allowed to compete against an all girls team for the state title now the all boys team wins every match running up huge score lines including a 30 goal victory mm. in the grand together. final all the while parents watch on they're angry but they're powerless from the sidelines now it all sounds like a bit of fiction does it a hollywood movie that's exactly what happened at the queensland netball titles earlier this week where the all male queensland sons Blitz their all-female competitors to be crowned the Queensland under-18 state champions. Or is this Australia That's been or something? Crazy and New unfair. Zealand. But Nepal Queensland is refusing to apologise. Oh, 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 uproar as all boys netball team beats girl to win state title. So females and boys are playing together. Her reaction. I want to bring co-founder of Save Women's Sport Australasia, Catherine Deves. Catherine. You may have been a netballer oh, in your day. Them, I was. Play uh, I Where played mixed this? netball, but I don't know if I'd like to be in a Man. team of women going up against a team of athletic men. Who in their right mind thought this was okay? Yeah. Well, look, I was a field hockey player, but um, what I'd like to say is that when Netball Australia says this is all about inclusion, what who's being included here? Because it's certainly not the women and girls. Um, they're being excluded. Uh, they're being expected to yet again sacrifice their sports to make sure that men and boys feel included and men and boys feel good about themselves. Inclusion of what? Inclusion? I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. And I'm, I'm not surprised that the parents are absolutely furious about this. Of and I am sure that if the girls man. were asked privately, you talking about? they would also... Be of course, you're putting your girl going against a guy's team? What the hell, man? Very unhappy. Man, sometimes you, a lot of these videos are really. Yeah, you're referring to a, a statement by the Netball Queensland blood, CEO, Catherine Clark. I'll put it up on the screen for people. She said that we stand by the decision to choose inclusion over exclusion. Let's judge the decision in 12 months' time and see how many boys and men's team we have. Because if we can't, you can't be it if you go, sorry, you can't see it if you can't be it. Now, Let me read that again. Hold up. We can't stand by the decision to choose inclusion over exclusion. Let's judge the decision in 12 months time and see how many boys and men's teams we have. Because if you can't see it, you can't be it. This is the most CEO thing I just heard. This is the most CEO College educated, half a master's degree. Let me just see what else. Be it if you go, sorry, you can't see it if you can't be it. Now, I've no issue if there's a male competition, but why Bro, would you have guys, a, a man, state that's competition that's predominantly always been women and suddenly yeah. bring the blokes in and have the blokes win the grand final 30 goals? Uh, to the women's team, that doesn't seem goals. fair, wow, fair to me. Bro. Um, no, when we watch women's sports, we want to see close. the best wow. women and girls that the world has to offer. We don't want to see men and boys taking up space on the on the netball court or on the podium. And frankly, I'd like to say to these boys, they should have forfeited. I mean, if they wanted to play netball, oh, they should have. Why forfeit? Why was not the other way around? Why not females forfeiting the game? Why have to be the guys? You see what I'm saying? They say yes, and guys went to win it. Why the females didn't forfeit it? I don't want to say something stupid, man, but damn. Done what women and girls have always historically done um, over the years and decades and centuries of fighting for equality, uh, for access to sporting opportunity. But it's like I say, it's not the same calling the devil to see him coming, man. Someone call it. He, so he's just. The devil just knocked the door and someone opened the door.
So he's inside the house now. And we've gotten out there. We've done the recruiting. We've done the fundraising. We've built our own leagues. And here you have these boys going, oh, I want to be included. So I'm just going to jump on in with the women. And um, I don't care about their right to fair competition. Don't care about their right to safety. Um, I'm just going to play. So yet again, we're seeing um, male entitlement, um, a, a lovely example of it here from Netball Australia. Yeah, and of course, women have fought for a long time in AFL to get a women's league up. I mean, if this sort of decision stands, you'd be putting men into the women's AFL league, even though there is already a men's AFL league, and you're taking the cause of women's sport back back by decades. I would have got another issue. The International Olympic Committee, they've delayed the release of the new transgender guidelines until next year due, they say, to an apparent conflicting opinion. But the IOC's medical and science director, Dr Richard Budgett, has reassured athletes that the guidelines will prioritise both inclusion and the avoidance of harm. How is it possible to do that if you're going to have biological male athletes again compete against women? We already saw well, you can't. Um, quite frankly, as I've said, when you have inclusion yeah. of men and boys or men and boys with a special self-declared identity, um, women and girls lose out. Now, if you look at the principles of sport, well, fair competition, stuff, player it. safety and welfare and inclusion, you cannot equally balance those. And what the IOC are doing here is they're yet again going to prioritise inclusion um, and they're going to put the burden of giving up fair competition and safety um, on women. So I mean, it's just... Imagine, if, you know, they'd like to do it in the state where they can put a, you know, a girl playing with the guys football. Really, you want to do that? You want a guy 220 pounds just tackle your girl, man? She will, she's going to look like a Lego after that. She's paying something like that? It's going to look like a Lego. Have you have you built a Lego and just punch it? You see what happened with the Lego? You just go... Why is the reason that people do it's that? It's completely outrageous. And they, they should just face up to the fact that they are prioritising the inclusion of males and admit it instead of mm. pretending that they're trying to be fair to everybody because they're not. Mm. Save Women's Sport uh, co-founder Catherine Deeds, thank you for your time. Thank you, Peter. Have a good evening. Well, well the thing is, it's up to women to... It's up to females to make this thing happen, you know what you, you see what I'm saying? Let me let me talk to here to the ladies for a second. L listen. We don't have to say in this thing. Male, we, we don't have to say in this thing. It's up to you guys. You guys have to sit down and figure out what's good for y'all. But this thing, man, <laughs> I don't I, I I really I really don't know what's the reason for this. I really don't know. I don't know what's the reason to want it to compete. I guess biological men or putting biological men against women in their sport. I don't know what's the reason. Unless people want to cheat their way through it, but I really don't see the reason, man. Unless there's some underlining Illuminati thing going on that I don't know about. But how how is it in these places, man? Not that far from here. Culturally. They want to try this thing, and then let me, let, let she said she, let me, let, and then this person want to. We stand by the decision. Stand by the decision to choose inclusion over exclusion, because that's very important, right? Because, you know, I need to be walked as the walk, as the walk, as the walk kind of thing. Let's just the decision 12 months. Well, this was um, 2021, the 2022, what's going on now? Let's, do, let's judge it now. Let's see how what happened. Now, you want to have more male... Oh, no. You want to have more male teams, right? And see how many boys and men's teams we have. If, if you can't see it, you can't believe it. You can be it. Be it, you can believe it. Oh, whatever. She's such a CEO, man. Well, I, I I think that's why she got a job. A job, I guess. Just to say the right thing. Sometimes you cannot just... You cannot blame them, man. She's there. Catherine Clark. She's there because they put her there just to say the right thing. Maybe it's not her fault, man. Again, they gave her that CEO status for something. 
My goodness, Lord. Comment and share. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Am I too crazy to to react like this? Because this is this is insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm not gonna really appreciate it.